Hello YouTube, this is Captain Ball, and this is a very special day today, as I'm not going to talk about military history, but I'm going to talk about a serious danger that the muzzle-loading sports are facing in the EU. What do you think about this rifle I have in my hands? Do you think it's a flintlock rifle from the era of Napoleon? Well, I have to tell you you're wrong. Some EU bureaucrats think that this is an evil tool that has to be banned in the name of the fight against the terrorism. Some of them, who I'm sure never ever had a black powder rifle in their hands, think that this rifle should be in the same licensing category as an AK-47 assault rifle. To tell you the truth, I have never ever heard about any kind of terrorist attack with a black powder gun, with a muzzle loading gun, unless it was done in the 18th or 19th century. So there is no reason to change their status, let's keep them free. The EU bureaucrats do not care about collecting, they do not care about reenacting black powder hunting or black powder sport shooting. I'm not EU skeptic. I'm really happy that we all live within the same borders. But now it's time to speak. Now it's time to make yourself heard. So grab the keyboard, find your EU delegate, send him or her a message and show him or her the difference between an AK-47 and a flintlock rifle. Historical firearms are part of a common European culture and values, so we have to protect them. We have to keep them free. EU should deal with illicit firearms trade and illegal firearms, not with legal gun owners. So use the power of democracy and make yourself heard. Thanks for watching.